set and you don't even have to wait for a group to like schedule something you could just go out you know I have this uh, there's this family in my neighborhood that I see them going around and they've got those little trash picker little uppers yeah. and whenever they go out they just they pick up trash so it all it takes is you bending over picking it up and throwing it away but and of course if you have trash throw it out in the right spot please don't and recycle it. recycle if you can <laughs> if it can be recycled recycle it all right let's go ahead and take you outside to some foggy skies I'm stealing the camera you just used Jared because it really gives you a good snapshot of the fog we're dealing with farther inland so this is the 8 west at Greenfield Drive because there's not a lot of fog along our coastline and that's where most of my low cameras are so so you can see visibility is reduced in areas like Santee and El Cajon, though it is up a little bit compared to when we I just showed you like 10 minutes ago, but only two and a half miles there. Fallbrook, there are parts of Fallbrook where visibility is down to half a mile. A little cooler this morning, but still fairly mild. We're in the low to mid 50s for most areas, 58 degrees downtown, and we are seeing some very weak offshore winds. I told you this system was going to be diving south. That's exactly what it's doing. It's going to bring more severe weather to Texas and the south as it puts pushes farther to the east. But for us, it's going to be warm through the weekend with that high pressure building. That storm system right there is going to bring a big change headed our way this weekend or excuse me next week. So thick marine layer clouds this morning. Stubborn clouds again hugging right along our beaches, but areas just a few miles inland. We're going to be clearing out mid to late morning. Most areas will be sunny through the weekend. Temperatures will be 5 to 15 degrees above average next week. Temperatures plummet 10 to 30 degrees. Hold on, because we're still going on this temperature roller coaster. So we'll be up to 70 degrees tomorrow along our coast. I've actually dropped our temperatures. Those beach clouds have really kept things a lot cooler along our coast. So not expecting to see as many 70s through the weekend. We'll see low 60s by Tuesday of next week. That May gray pattern returns a bit misty by Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we could actually see a few showers. Inland neighborhoods were in the 80s through Sunday and then 60s next week. The mountain area is closer to 80 today and tomorrow and then dropping into the 50s next week. Wednesday we could see some 40s for highs and the desert areas triple digits through the weekend cooling off next week.